Hey, look who we have in the studio right now. We've got Jeanette McCurdy, and this is your second visit with us. Hey, yeah, it is. Uh, no, I think the last time you were here was about uh, eight months ago. You've been busy. You've been working on the new album. Yeah. Okay, so I get the CD. I'm looking at it. Produced by Jay DeMarcus. Yes. That name is from... How did you hook up with a guy from Rascal Flatts? Uh, you know, it's crazy because I've loved Rascal Flatts for so long, and they've always been one of my absolute favorite bands. So when the opportunity to work with him came to be, I thought it was, I thought everybody was kidding. I just didn't think yeah. it could be possible. And then I heard that he heard my songs and, and was interested in producing me. And uh, and I had to go and, and meet up with him and we were just going to see if, if our, our tastes were similar and if we would mash enough to work together. And I was really, really, really nervous to meet him and have dinner with him. And I walked in and he was wearing a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back vintage <laughs> t-shirt. And I happen to be a Star Wars fanatic. My dog's name is Chewbacca. No so way. from that moment on, I was like, this is going to be heaven. It's going to be great. Okay, now now I've got a bunch of other questions to ask. Star okay. Wars. Yes. Best movie. Ooh, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to go Empire Strikes Back. You know, okay, we've got something in common. Yeah. Worst movie. Mm. Yeah, Phantom Menace. I'll say Phantom that because you don't things. want to. Right? Would you like <laughs> yeah. Star Wars toys? Do you mean do you, you like that? Uh, yeah, I actually. My eldest brother, he started with the collections, and at one point, in my room, I had Return of the Jedi and Empress Strikes Back gigantic posters on my walls, <laughs> and then I had all the collectible older toys pinned around the border of my room with Star Wars bed spreads. And I was also Princess Leia that year. No so. way. <laughs> but, no yeah. way. And your dog is really named Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Now, see, yeah. that's something we didn't know about you. Yeah. Okay. At all. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the album, because you have been working for a while on it. Yes. But the way you're launching this is a little bit different, because you are touring malls. You're going to malls. So I guess yeah. you can work and you do some shopping, too, right? Uh, yeah, sure. It's always, it's always good. I didn't have to pack all that much, because I could just swing by a mall and pick up some outfits if, I, if, I, if needs be. But, um, yeah, it's been this, I guess it's a it's close to six week. It's five and a half week tour. Right. And going across the nation, just hitting up a bunch of different malls, and it's a really, a really cool thing because I go and, and perform for free. You can just attend the concert if you'd like, but afterwards, if you if you want to meet me or whatever, you can you can pay ten dollars and you get a meet and greet pass, you get uh -huh. a signed eight by ten photo, and you get a hard copy of the single Generation Love plus a bonus track on that album. And it's only ten dollars, and every penny of that goes to St. Jude. Which so. is a great organization. Yes, absolutely. Stuff. Now, what, what's been the best mall that you've appeared so far? Ooh, well, some really, really big ones. Uh, for the performance aspect have been awesome. Um, Hartford and Knoxville, Harrisburg, uh, Des Moines was real big. Um, but as for just the mall, I loved Mall of America because there are roller coasters inside. Did you ride? <laughs> oh yeah, I rode every one like four times. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big roller coaster person. Okay, can I ask you to, to, to show the camera your, your shoes? Cause, you know, oh yeah. I'm gonna, which mall did you get these shoes? Look at these shoes. <laughs> I'm doing my. I bet you love going through airport security with those shoes. Don't you? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, gonna have to remove the shoes. All right, I'm, I'm gonna ask you about, about television right now. Are you getting ready to go back and shoot another season of iCarly? Yeah, actually, we did just get picked up for another season, and we're starting back uh, in May. In May. Yeah. Amazing. How many seasons is this now? This is our fifth. I've lost count. I think it's our fifth season. It'll make 100 episodes by the end of the season. Which will go into syndication, which is even, that's where you want to get is that 100 episode mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, very, it's very cool. Most, uh, most children's sitcoms don't go past 65. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a great thing that it's gone so far. Favorite episode. I've got kids, so I want the, the pie eating, just to see you. That's you know, your favorite? That's my favorite. That's one of my favorites, and people always act like they don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I loved about it? I, usually we have an A and a B and a C story, so it's very sporadic and, and kind of, it's like two of us, two of us, and two of us. But in that episode, there was just an A story. All of us were hanging out together, and we all had great punchlines. I felt like it was a great episode with just a fun plot that nobody was singled out. We all had really strong material, and I loved it. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> but afterwards, I went and had a you know, slice of pie after watching stuff like that. <laughs> Let's get back to music, because yeah. is there anybody really in modern country music right now that influences you, your style? Oh, yeah. Goodness. Not that you copy, but I'm saying that you that you inspire, say, I want to be just like that person. No, sure. Well, I, you know, I listen to a lot. I love Miranda Lambert. Um, I, I've just grown more and more fond of her. Uh, over the past couple months, and I always love Keith Urban. I idolize everything he does because he puts so much emotion into, into everything he does. And when he performs live, it's just his heart is on his sleeve. You feel right. like you feel like you're the only person in the room, and he's singing right to you. And that's amazing that he's able to do that time and time again. Uh, any way that you're going to incorporate the singing with a TV show at all? Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't rule it out. Um, but I really do I do want to focus on you know. I'm keeping them separate to some degree because 
you know, I want, uh, of course, I want people to, to take my music seriously and know that I, I really, you know, want to do this and, and do it the right way. Right, right, right. Well, we look forward for the album. I guess the album will be out sometime in the fall. Yes. The video is out right now. Um, it's premiering on CMT and Nickelodeon soon, and then it, it will be out among, you know, How did you get it on Nickelodeon? And... You must know people there, right? Uh, yeah, one <laughs> might say. <laughs> Well, we look forward to listening to the album and, of course, watching the video and seeing you back on iCarly. And, Thank you. And uh, look forward to your country music career. Thanks for coming over to the country. Thank you. Everything. Thank you. <laughs>